Good morning everyone and welcome to our morning inspiration. It is Tuesday, February 27, 2024. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're in good spirit. As we go through the reading this morning, I pray that you will be encouraged. I pray that you will be blessed and may the Spirit of God be with you as we read. It says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarry, they all slumber and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom come, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. 13 and last. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word one more time. And this is a well-known passage that I know a lot of us are familiar with. It's the story of the ten virgins, the five wise and the five foolish. Now, though five of these virgins are represented as wise and five as foolish, we realize that they all had lamps. Correct? They both represent two sets of people within the church or two sets of people that claim to follow God. Now, it means, therefore, that all of them, they were convicted at one point. So, they have been preparing for the Lord's coming because what? They had gained the knowledge of truth. And so, there was no visible or apparent difference between the wise and the foolish until the final moment when the cry was made because remember you know they came it says what they both had a lamp and they both had oil in the lamp so unless somebody say okay then i am wise or i am foolish you can't just tell by looking at them just so oh you will be able to tell the difference as i said is at the final moment when you realize the cry was made at the midnight hour when the bridegroom calls and you realize that one still had oil and the next had none or five had oil still and five did not have any oil left that's where you notice the difference amen now what is the oil the oil is represented here by the holy spirit and the bridegroom is who jesus now when the loud cry was made the five that did not have enough oil suddenly realized that they needed oil and they asked the other five to give them of some of their oil 
Now let's take a pause here. The oil, as I said, is the Holy Spirit. Okay? And the message that I want you to take away from this part of the, the reading is this. The Holy Spirit cannot be shared between you and another person. Each of us have to receive the Holy Spirit on our own, if that's the best way to phrase it. So, if you need the Holy Spirit, you have to ask. You have to seek Him. You have to build a relationship with Him. You have to bond with Him. You have to get the oil for yourself. Because nobody will be able to offer you oil or to give you the Holy Spirit except the Father. And there is a time limit in which you are able to get that oil. Now, if we keep procrastinating and we wait until probation close, then at that time, it will be too late to get more oil or to get oil because now the source is cut off the source is closed so if you'd never have it before you can't get it now and so let us understand the seriousness of this message right here we all need the Holy Spirit and we need to seek him we need to receive him in our lives so that we can be prepared so that we can keep the fire burning with us and so that our light won't go out because what we will have that extra reserve that we can pull from and so there will be no need for for you and for i to go out and to buy or to get more because what we have enough so you might be saying but the wise could have had pity on the foolish virgins and gave them some of the oil and i revert back to my previous statement that the reason why they could not share even if they wanted to was because the holy spirit cannot be shared like that remember the oil is symbolic is not literal oil right and so if they had given the oil let's say let's think outside the box now if they had given any of the oil to the others both of them now would have run out at the appointed time and they both would have to go seeking more oil to put in their lamps and the bridegroom would come and none of them would have been ready to go so you see the predicament so that is why a personal relationship with god is an individual thing you can't have a relationship with god through your family through your friends through your spouses through your kids through no one and so we must seek god for ourselves and as i said when we look at the scenario after the virgins we can't tell the difference just by looking at them and in the same way for those who profess to be followers of christ you can't tell most time by just looking at a person if that person is for god or against god most time when you will be able to tell is when the final moment has come yes you might see somebody making a mistake and you might say but this person is not representing this person is not representing christ and you are right but you cannot judge the heart because you cannot read the heart and people do make mistakes so you don't know if it is is a mistake the person is making or the person is just deliberate in their action and whichever case it is we don't know 
the, the, the relationship that that person have with Christ. And so the only thing we can do for that person is to pray for them or to encourage them. You ever heard the saying, never judge a book by the cover? Exactly. Only God know the intent of every heart and he knows who is with him from those who are against him. So going to church every Saturday, every Sunday, every Wednesday or whenever it is that we go to church, it doesn't make us a Christian. How you would determine a true follower of Christ can only be determined by the relationship that they have with Christ and the, the word of God who is judging their life to see if they are walking in the principles of God. The, you ever heard the saying, by their fruits you shall know them? And so, let us not look on each other and judge. Let us pray for each other instead. Because at the final moment, when it's all said and done, we will know who is who and we will know who is for God and who is not for God. Heed to this lesson. Let us listen to the word of God. Listen to the voice of God. And may we not find ourselves in the predicament like the five foolish virgin who have to go to try to find oil to put in our lamps and then the bridegroom come and we are left behind. Remember the pronunciation that God gave or the bridegroom gave when they came knocking? I don't know you. And so if we deny God now, if we don't want anything to do with God now, what do you think is going to happen at that time? He's going to deny you. He's not going to claim you as his own. And then you are going to lose out on everything. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that and think very hard. Tell yourself, is it worth it or is it not? And then make your decision. But remember, whatever choice you make, you will have to live with it for the rest of your life until it comes. So may God give you wisdom. May God give me wisdom as we seek to keep the oil in our lamps and to fill on reserve so that we will never run out. So that when Jesus come, when the bridegrooms come, when the bridegroom cometh, we all can go home to be with him. Amen. Have a wonderful day.